What's up agents, Jetforth here, and here is a compilation of all 13 hunters for Warlords of New York split between Washington DC and New York. I will leave timestamps in the pinned comment down below. I did my best when recording these videos to make it nice and easy to follow so that way you do not have to be the fastest pause hands in the West. Either way, like, comment, and subscribe, blah blah blah, I'm shutting up and here you go. First things first is that you will want to fast travel over to the Space Administration HQ. We will veer off to the left a little bit and there will be a building with a little panel on the wall and you are going to want to activate that panel. Also too, throwing down the turret and then that fuck hacks it. Once you have completed that step, which you can do during the daytime, but this other part has to be at night, you are going to want to come over here in downtown east, pretty much exactly where I am standing. You will see a little platform with a blue tarp on it, you will climb up on there and then there is going to be a button up there that you will want to activate, once again at nighttime. After that you are going to see these construction lights come on and then you are going to want to activate those. You have to do it in a specific order so just follow along on screen. Once you are done with that, the hunter will spawn in and you're done. Well, I guess you gotta dispatch him first. I wouldn't necessarily say he was tough, but he liked to heal up a lot so be ready for a wonderful hunter battle. Anyways if you could, hit the old like button, that would be super amazing, a subscribe and all that other junk and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace! drama mask and how to get the weirdo mask. I know I'm a little bit late to this party, but better late than never. We are going to come over to Judiciary Square right here on the map, and we need to open up the first present, which will have a generator key in it. Here is me looking around just so you can get a decent point of reference of where I'm actually standing. The next present and or generator key is right in front of the White House, right here. And once again, for point of reference while I'm standing here, there is a big crane right off to the right of where I'm standing, so it's pretty hard to miss. Here is the second present and the second generator key. Next, we are going to go to downtown east, right in front of the stronghold right here and right to the left of Judiciary Square. There is going to be two generators. You will want to turn those on. This has to be done at night. You can get the keys during the day, but the generators have to be turned on at nighttime. Now after you have turned on both of these generators, there is a yellow cord coming out of the back of them. So 
So just go ahead and follow said yellow cord on either generator and they will bring you to two switches that look like that. So turn this one on and then go over to the next one. Again, just follow the yellow cable that comes out of the back and that will take you to the switch that is on the wall. Two generators, two switches. After you have turned both of those on, you're going to want to go to the middle platform. And on this platform, there's going to be a little switch on it. Once you hit this switch, both hunters will spawn in up there. This one is the angel hunter, which will give you the angel mask. Now, this does not matter what time of the day it is, but we do have to go and collect six sets of lion eyes. The first one is right here above the White House in a burger shop. Jones, to be exact, just go to the refrigerator, open her up, and there is your first set of eyes. The next one is in a donut shop all the way in the back up by DZ West. I did kind of have to sneak in here to this one because, uh, well, it was a territory control. You will run into a lot, a lot of NPCs on your journey. Let me tell you. Next, we do have to take over a Riverside gas station. I guess you don't have to take over it, but be pretty sneaky to get into this window and grab your third set of eyes. After that, we will be going to Downtown East. Into yet another burger joint. Again, like I said, lots and lots of guys everywhere when you're doing this. Then again, I did have my world tier on hard. That might have been the problem. I don't know. That is your fourth set of eyes. Next, we will be going to the Noodle Bar. Which is in Judiciary Square. And your sixth and final set of eyes is in a Constitution Hall at Kobe's. Now, after that, you are going to come to Constitution Hall right here on the map, and there is going to be a bunch of lions that you're going to have to interact with and put their eyes in. Once you put their eyes in, they will spin. Every time you put them in, they will look directly at the next lion, so just kind of follow them along in a line. Oh, by the way, apparently you can't run across here. Why? I do not know. Gotta love the division. So just go ahead and follow along on screen. I apologize, there is some clipping because like I said, we were running into a ton of NPCs. I guess you kind of get to see my new True Patriots build in action. Then again, uh, tomorrow they are nerfing the living hmm out of uh, the old LMG that's everybody's favorite. Up, 
Now, after you hit that this line, it's a little annoying because we are going to have to go all the way around the DCD mission. So instead of watching me run for 20 minutes, I went ahead and clipped it, and then I will show you exactly where the next lion is on the map. Which is right here. Now, after you've done this one, it is the home stretch. This is the final lion right here. It's a bit of a jog from the other one, but it is right here in Constitution Hall. Once you spin this one, he will spawn. It's only one single hunter this time. He wasn't too bad. So, that is it. Anyways... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace! carbon mask and your seventh hunter key so there is some pretty important information that needs to be known first off your map has to be invaded and when i say invaded meaning you haven't done any of the missions yet because if you have done your invaded missions for the week these boxes you need to shoot will be black and they need to be yellow and i am also unsure if this is tied to bank headquarters being invaded or just your overall map being invaded but I would just get this done now just to be sure. And the second bit of important information that you need to know is that you have to have the secret scavenger mission completed. It's one of the original secret missions when the game first launched. So you have this building unlocked. I would imagine most everybody has it done already though. Now with all that aside, you're going to want to come all the way up here to the sewers in downtown west. The detention center classified mission is right here, so most likely you will be able to fast travel there. Just follow along on screen and shoot all of the yellow boxes. There are four in total. Now just for a quick note, if you did complete your invaded missions for the week, the way I got around it was I logged on to one of my other characters. And then I had my friends join on me, completed that side mission, came over here and the boxes were yellow because that map was invaded then i left them in my session went back to my main character joined back up on them and then everything was copacetic so don't be too discouraged if you already completed them
After you have shot all four of the electric boxes, you are going to come and spin this wheel, turning on whatever you're turning on, and a chainsaw boss will spawn, and he will drop you the National Building Museum ticket. After you've picked that up, then we are going to go back to the National Museum. Well, probably not back if you are, whatever, I'm shutting up. Then you're going to come over to this computer right here, hit it, and the hunter will spawn, and that is it. Safe area detected. This is the Divide Mask. You are going to want to start off in the financial district right here. You will want to make sure that it is 2100 hours or later. You can check this in photo mode. Then you are going to want to hit that generator right there and the lights in the center of that will turn on. Now you will want to take over the waterfront control point because behind the supply doors is the first flag that you are going to need to pick up. Just follow along on screen, it is pretty easy. Off to the left, down the stairs, and there is your first flag. Next, we want to come over here, also in the financial district, right where this pier is. Now I'm going to fast travel to my friend, that blue dot over there, just so you get a point of reference of exactly where you're going. Sorry for being a little willy-nilly in here, but we were kind of frantically trying to find all the flags because you have to do all of this at nighttime. And now right here is your second flag. There's that big old building right there, just for point of reference. Next, we will want to fast travel to the Celebration Hotel. Also a really good idea to have this one taken over as well. Now there is some clip editing in here. I apologize for it, but it's pretty easy. You will want to jump out this window and that building right to the right of us where you can see the little yellow dealy right there. Yeah, climb up there and it's straight to your right. Just go all the way to the right through the little fence on there. Again, I apologize for the clip ending. And here is your third flag. Here is point of reference, just so you know exactly where I am standing. Right there. Now, once you have grabbed that, you are going to want to fast travel to the food bank safe house. You can go down the elevator or a run down the stairs like I chose to. Right in front of here, you're actually just going to want to go to the left and 
not do what I did and make a quick little swift loop. Now once you get in there, clip editing, go straight off to the right and then you will see a generator. Go ahead and press the button on that and that will drain the water in here. Turn directly around and off and to the left in this little corner right here is the fourth and final flag. After that, you will want to fast travel back to the waterfront and then go back to exactly where we started all this, where the generator was. There are four flagpoles without flags on them. You will want to raise all four flags and then you are going to hit that generator again. After you hit that generator again, that is it. The hunter will spawn in. Once again, even on normal, this is a fight. You will want to bring some friends. And that's it guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, subscribe and all that other junk and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace! Oh yeah, and I'll have my hardwired build out shortly, very shortly here, the video is actually done, but then this came up, so anyways, I'm done. Peace! Detected. This is the Neurotic Hunter. This one's overall pretty simple, but kind of annoying because of, well, you have to do things at certain times of the day. The first panel that you are going to want to hit is over here in Battery Park. You will want to start out in this location right here where I am standing on the map. There was a side mission here that you would have had to have completed to be able to get through here easily. Just follow along on screen and I will take you to the first panel. in distress. Now, once again, you do have to activate this panel between 5.30 a.m. and 7 a.m. You can check that by looking at the photo mode in the game menu. It tells you what time it is right here up in the right-hand corner of the screen. The next panel is located in the Trinity Church safe house. So just go ahead and fast travel over there and follow along on screen. You pretty much just run out the east entrance and it is right there. Now this panel you have to hit between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. So once again, just look at the photo mode and it'll tell you exactly what time of the day it is. And as for the final step, you are going to come over to the pier over here and there is going to be a yellow box up on the top of the church. You have to shoot this at nighttime, so 2100 and later. And that is it. The hunter will spawn, you take him out and get your neurotic mask. And that is it, my friends. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what you think. Like I said, this was kind of simple, but a little annoying just because of the uh, time restraints that they put on it. And yeah, other than that, that is it. The Psycho Mask?
and the drip mask. Credit goes to Reddit for these. I'm pretty sure they're the ones who figured it out. They figured everything out. So first things first, as you want to come to this place right here on the map, to these apartment buildings over here in Civic Center. Just run into the door and you will see uh, some washing machines. One says 23 on it. Go ahead and interact with it. Then you're going to turn around and there will be a fuse box on the wall. You're going to want to interact with that. After that, you are going to want to fast travel to the residential building. Just follow along on screen. We're going to run out here and there will be a garage off to your left over here. Now there is a yellow box on the back of the wall that you do have to shoot, if I can shoot it one more time. There you go, Jet. Climb over this here wall, and then inside of here is going to be the fuse for the other box. Once you have grabbed said fuse, you're going to fast travel back to the Civic Center or fast travel to the tombs because that's the closest place unless you have the control point up there. Put in the fuse and then you're going to turn around and go back to the washing machine and it's going to give you the apartment key for room 23 all the way upstairs. Once you get into the door, there is going to be a writing on the wall or coordinates. I'm pretty sure they're coordinates. Go ahead and interact with them. Then we're going to run over here on Bayard Street right here where the sign is and just follow along on screen. Now there is a piece of shade tech up here as well or a shade tech box. So if you haven't been here before, then go ahead and pick that up. It'll also basically mark where this next step is on the screen for you. After you go across there, you will have to kick those down if you haven't been up here yet. The little uh, the metal boards to get across. Pretty straightforward. Now once you get up here, there is a little orange box. Turn around right here and you will see a, a yellow box, another yellow fuse box. And that will unlock this door for you. Scan your general vicinity and then once you run back here, open up this door. And then there is going to be a torched body on the ground. Interact with that. And then that is pretty much your final step. Now you're going to fast travel over here to where there is a school that is basically burnt down. 
And then there is going to be a body on the ground over there that you interact with. Which I made my friend zombie do. Because the other agents I was with, we were all getting set up. Because let me tell you, this is one hell of a fight. I mean, I'm sure some people will say, eh, it was easy, but... I would definitely try and have four people, even on normal mode, it was a bit of a pain. So, yeah, be prepared. The Paranoid Mask, the Lucky Mask, the Veil Mask, and finally, the Trip Mask. We will open the chest at the end. Spoiler alert, it wasn't that great. Now there are a lot of steps to this, so I did my best to make this nice and easy for everybody to follow. First things first is that you are going to want to come to Battery Park and visit the tallest building in Manhattan, located right here on the map. There will be a computer behind these doors that you're going to want to clickety-click-clack on, and all the lights will turn red and or orange inside. It does not matter what time of the day that you do this step. The next step is that we are going to have to shoot the stars on top of four Christmas trees. They are all in Battery Park. I tried to make this as easy to follow as possible, so just follow along on screen to find all of the locations. After you shoot the stars, they will blink orange. If you do this during the day, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of hard to mess up. And you do have to do this in this order. Once again, you can also do this step during the day. It does not matter. Now after you have shot this one, the fourth and final Christmas tree, you'll hear that beeping noise and there is a present right here next to these gas canisters which have already blown up, which is a console key. Once you have grabbed that, we are going to come all the way over here to this generator in the Community Christmas Food Market, which is located in Two Bridges, and we are going to be spending a fair amount of time here. You can also activate this during the day. The one weird thing with this is that after you hit the button, it'll say that you can hit it again. But don't worry, that means absolutely nothing. Once you hit it, you're done, you're good to go. Now as for the next step, we have to shoot six targets in windows at nighttime, so 2100 hours or later, in which you can check in your photo mode. So the easiest way to get this started is to fast travel to the two bridges safe house and just follow along on screen. I did my best to keep everything nice and slow and easy because believe me, I used to watch YouTube videos like this and I couldn't stand how quickly people went through this stuff. These first six targets do have to be completed between 2100 hours or 9 p.m. and 6 a.m. But I, you have plenty of time to get these, so don't rush it. You do have to do them in order.
control point detected. Now, after you have shot those six targets, we will fast forward to 7 a.m. And then there will be six more targets for you to shoot. These have to be shot during the day. Between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Very important. So, once again, just go ahead and follow along on screen. One little quick tip, in all honesty, is if there are territory controls or anything in the area... Take them over halfway, don't finish them, and then that way nothing will be there spawning in on you trying to kill you. And also, you are going to want to do this in a four-man group. Four hunters are no joke. You think, literally, they are no joke. They will murder you very fast. Guarding location nearby. Now, after you have taken out your 12th and final target, it is time to go back to that generator in the community Christmas food square, or whatever it was called. You will hit that generator, and the hunters will spawn in, and it is party time. Like I said, you're going to want to bring a four-man group. These dudes have shock traps, hack your skills, you name it. They aren't a whole lot of fun. They, they don't want to play with you at all. And that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about all of this. This is was just really, really complicated, I guess. Yeah, that definitely was. There was a lot of steps to it. It was fun. I don't know. Big uh, shout out to the guys at Reddit and the Unite Community Discord for figuring all this out. And, uh, yeah, that's it from me. Hit the old like button for me if you could. Subscribe and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Yeah, and I do show the chest opening at the end if you want to skip ahead or whatever. Peace!